Welcome to McDonald's Park. Oh my god. I found that by the couch. Everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about two worlds colliding. We are talking about the fast food empire and the Jurassic Kingdom. Jurassic Park promotional merchandise at McDonald's back in 1993. We all know that Jurassic Park was promoted out the yin yang, and in my opinion, I think that Jurassic Park was probably one of the most successful promotional campaigns in cinematic history. It was everything from dino foam soaps, lip glasses, candy, cookies, to toys. Duh. Like one of my favorite toys. And they certainly weren't limited to branching it into other domains like the fast food domain. McDonald's is the largest fast food chain in the world, serving on average about 68 million customers a day. And every single second, 75 hamburgers are sold. So like one, there, like 75 hamburgers, two, 150 hamburgers, so many hamburgers. Can't keep up with that many hamburgers. Make them faster. I think that one of the most iconic pieces of Jurassic Park merchandise are these McDonald's cups. There are a total of six cups, all featuring a different scene from the movie. These cups are just so beautifully illustrated. And I mean like, the detail on these are just amazing. So if you guys notice, you will see that my cups actually do not have a rim on the top. Most of the cups that you see out there have like this kind of protruding rim all around the cup. And that is because I have the Canadian version of the cups. I have the Canadian cups and I have the Canadian fry containers, but it's all exactly the same art and same thing with the uh, fry containers. It's the same art on this side, but on the other side, it's different. So these Jurassic Park cups were actually illustrated by commercial artist Mark Stubbs. Mark's first project with McDonald's was actually the Batman cups in 1992. I love the Catwoman cup. That is one of my favorites. I still do not have that. I am looking for it. After the success with his Batman cups with McDonald's, that led him to several more other projects with McDonald's as well, including these Jurassic Park cups. Mark was actually sent out to LA where he was able to visit the sets and he was able to read the script, but he wasn't allowed to read the script anywhere off the production site. He had to do everything there. So all he was able to do was he was able to just take some notes and maybe do some quick sketches. He was able to interpret what he saw on the set what he read in the script and he made these amazing cups. Six cups in total were planned. So these are the original six. There wasn't like any cups that he was like, hmm, maybe I should do that. And he never did it. It was just these six cups and this is exactly what he had in mind. These cups are actually in order. They go JP1, JP2, JP3, 4, 5, and 6. This is the Tyrannosaurus Rex cup, JP1. And it is depicting the Tyrannosaurus Rex as he is breaking out of his electric fence on his way to the Ford Explorer to go see Tim and Lex who are playing a game of flashlight tag. Next, we have the Gallimimus cup. It's depicting the Gallimimus stampede as they are running away from the Tyrannosaurus Rex, unbeknownst to Tim, Lex, and Ellen. And there they are underneath the tree, the famous tree. Oh, I totally touched that tree when I went to Hawaii and I got to hide next to it. And there in the back, we see the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Cup number three, we have the Dilophosaur cup. And it is showing Nedry as he has been, you know, kind of, bullied by the Dilophosaurus before he gets into his car and faces his demise. I love the detail on the Dilophosaur crest. It is so pretty. I love the colors in this one. Cup number four, we have the Triceratops. It is depicting the scene with the sick Triceratops. And there we have Ellie and we have Dr. Grant and they're consoling the Triceratops and they're very concerned. The color is still so nice and fresh on these. I love these cups so freaking much. Cup number five, we have the Velociraptor. This is depicting two Velociraptors breaking through into the control room. And here we see Ellie getting some action up close with the Velociraptor. Do not recall that scene of her actually coming into contact with the Velociraptor. But like I said, the artist didn't actually get to see any of the film. He just went by the script and the sets that he saw have interpreted it differently than the script or maybe who knows this was supposed to be a scene and the last cup cup number six we have my favorite moo moo cow we have the brachiosaur here we see tim lex and ellen and they are petting the brachiosaurus which will sneeze on lex and down below is actually a herd of triceratops so i follow jp copperlight underscore compound on instagram and they're just such a cool cool collector i mean they have so many cool things and they were nice enough 
to send me over a picture of uh, the sign here. So he took a picture of his sign and then I printed mine out and laminated it at the store. And it is like the original sign that they had in McDonald's. Um, advertising the combo that they had, the dino size combo with the drink and the fry container. Something big is happening to your favorite extra value meal. Dino sizing. For just a little more, get dino size fries and a large drink in one of six free Jurassic Park collector things. So a dino size meal was essentially just a little bit bigger than a normal McDonald's meal. So the fries were a little bit bigger and also you got this awesome cup. So these fry containers, I have the Canadian version of Gan. So this side is the same as the US ones as well. It's the dinosaur. And then the other side, I have just a little dinosaur. Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Dilophosaurus, Velociraptor, and Gallimimus. And on the other fry containers in the US, instead of having this little area here, like the doors here opening up to the park, uh, and the dinosaur, and it actually has a scene from the movie. So I believe that there are four. So what a lot of people don't know is that Jurassic Park was actually directly responsible for the super size option at McDonald's. When the movie was all over and done with, obviously people are not gonna be ordering dino size fries anymore. But what McDonald's saw is that this was actually a very successful campaign of this dino size option. A lot of people were getting it and it was just making them a lot of money. So why not? So instead of calling it dino size, they called it super size. Absolutely adore this stuff. Like, like I said, things are dispensable and disposable that kind of memorabilia is very hard to come by so these fry containers they are quite pricey I mean sometimes two can go for like you know $40 US or something like that I am definitely on the lookout on my adventures if I find the US fry containers and the US cups yeah it just makes for an awesome awesome display so what cup is your favorite oh, I really can't pick I really don't know I like all the cups like for a certain reason and also let me know if you guys actually knew that Jurassic Park was directly responsible for the super size option of McDonald's I think that's such a cool piece of history that dress Park was actually responsible for that. So let me know in the comments down below if uh, you knew that. Because I didn't. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come up with new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Unless if I get invited for Chinese food. I had Chinese food today. Like, legit, I got Chinese food. So this video is going to be late. This picture is so tasty. I want some dino-sized fries. I get some McDicks. What? The next time we go to McDonald's and they're like, would you like to supersize that? Be like, no, no, I'd like to dino size that. And she'd be like, what? And you'd be like, don't you even know your own history? So thank you guys so much for watching and stay legendary.